Welcome back to another episode of One Shot. I'm Mindlogged, and we're continuing our adventure through the big grand city. So let's go. Nico, I'm back. Hey, Mindlogged. Welcome back. Ah, oh, the poor, the poor, the poor child. Um, I'm actually try to find some water. Let's see, let's see. I just have to go through this place again. Okay, okay. I'll have to go through here and, oh wait, uh. I wanna try adding that pill to the seed. You know the one that, that uh, we planted back up in the, uh, in the place? Yeah. I want to see if uh, I can do anything about it. The celebrator goes back up to the catwalks. We'll need to press the button if we want to go back up. Yes, we do, Nico. Hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Talk to me about something. Ah, <laughs> uh, goodness. Okay, so. I have an idea. Um, and I don't know if it'll work or not. Um, but... I feel like it will... Hopefully. Alright, so I just gotta keep going until I see... Let's see, let's see. Aha! 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 Okay, so... Right, I can refill this tube with more water here. Yeah! <laughs> okay. So put the pill in the water? It dissolved really fast. Wait, what does it say? Medicated water. Okay. Whew. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so now, now I think we know what to do with that. Ooh, it's gonna be great. We're gonna save that flower girl because one little tube of water is not gonna last a plant at all. And I've been kind of worried about that. <laughs> Ever since Nico said something about it, I was just kind of like, e I'm worried. Here we go. Good thinking, mind locked. The water should really help the seed grow. It sprouted a tiny leaf. Oh! Good luck, little plant. That's amazing. We did it. <laughs> did that use up the tube? Yeah, the tube is gone now. Okay. Wait, why did the tube leave? Uh... Okay. Dang it, we need to push the button to open the door. And now is another awkward car ride. Wait a minute. Aren't you, like, hungry? You haven't eaten in forever, actually. Okay, uh... Huh. Alright. Now we're back on the move. Back on the move again. Up here. Do, 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 do. 
do, do, do. Okay, so yeah. Let's try to figure out how to go to the. Oh, he's there. <laughs> so, do, 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 Um, this is weird. What's going on with this? Uh, let's figure that out, I guess. In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. The, huh? You must change the color of the lights into a specific configuration. Allow me. Oh. Um, how do I solve this? That is part of the test. Bummer. Um. That's not very fair. It might help you to go one color at a time. It's a big metal box with lots of machinery inside. This one has a robot in it. Beep boop. This is the printer room where machine parts are made. Also robots. It can also help to write down previous attempts. If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time. Um. Bunch of words are on the screen. I don't understand any of it. The luminescent index of liquid red phosphor decreased by a factor of 3.57% last this last week. Alarming to say the least. This is the sharpest decline I've seen. And the number is only increasing. We'll have to further concentrate the phosphor now. For it to be of any use. Ugh, sorry. It's hard to believe, but there's a good chance this city could run out of light in a little of a six month. What are we going to do? I don't know, man. What do you, what do you want me to say? Okay, so. Three lights are correct. Okay, three lights are correct. What about this? Two lights are correct. Three red, okay. Okay, so four lights are correct. Okay, okay, so that remains yellow. Dang it. <laughs> ah. Yes! I, I did it on the clutch. Can you believe me? I'm just... Man. <laughs> Cold cracker extraordinaire. Thank you for the, for the access. 
The security system has temporarily deactivated. Would you like to reset it? I don't think I want to go through that again. Yeah, really though. Oh no. My robot! What happened? I don't know! I left for a minute and... Ah, oh, poor guy. He's a robot. Alright, so, um... Oh, scientists. Monitoring, monitoring, monitoring. The score particles just took out two of my robots in the Glen. We're gonna have to put off the water analysis project for now. The Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing usual at this point. I'm picking up some disturbance, disruption from Sector 8 of the city. This is consistent with our earlier findings. Not good at all. They sure have a lot of computers here. And they look important, too. Yeah. Soda can. Hmm. I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. Square particles took a few of my robots last weekend. She fell asleep. Oh, she fell asleep. I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? Hello? Oh, shoot! If I had known you would be here so soon, I would have turned off the system. Hello there. Sorry about that weird sec- Sorry about the weird security measures. That's okay. My log helped me solve it. Did they now? I don't know. <clears throat> so can I help you with anything? Yeah, where's the library? Oh, the library? That's all the way down the other side of town. The fastest route is where you take the shortcut through the back alley, but... I think that's how we got here, actually. Oh, good. You should head back in the direction and walk to the east of it. You'll find it eventually. Thank you. Who is she? She looks like that robot. So, you've been walking all over the world, huh? Mm-hmm. Jeez, I can't imagine. Did you really get tired sometimes? Or, kinda. But I don't mind. It's actually really pretty. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world still is a is still a beautiful place. What did the world look like with the sun? Oh. Uh. You know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I actually seen. Oh? Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm a I'm the world's leading researcher, all I do is stay here and build robots. They're the ones exploring the world just Write down the data, crunch the numbers, generate graphs. Right. I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it's because the world is too dangerous for most people to explore. That's not far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who still does his research firsthand. Oh? Even after segments of land started collapsing and access to the more remote areas became difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh, that's... I asked him about working with us, so he provide. 
So he provides all of sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason, he really didn't want to build robots. Or more specifically, coding them. How come? Beats me. I mean, he's happy to work on with robots. In fact, he even... Uh, it's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with his books now. Yeah. Something is poking from the shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have it if you want. You never know when you need glitter to glitter things up, right? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. Wow. Hey, mind locked? Doesn't that lady look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to that robot lady who gave me the amber. I almost want to ask her about it. Should I? Oh, uh, hold on. Okay, we're back. Goodness gracious, I was having some, some technical <laughs> difficulties. Uh, yeah, go ahead and ask, Nick. Go, go ahead and ask. Uh, ask with this, I think. Oh, that's. How did you get this? This robot lady from the Barons gave it to me. She looked kind of like you. I see. It was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know. Even based her on myself, so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? We wanted to build a robot that acts like a person and thinks like a person. But a robot isn't bound by a robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh! But it turns out that you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've seen a robot go rogue. Scariest days of my life, I'll tell you what. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. She even asked, she, even if she talked a little weird. Yeah, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through his own means. A miracle worker, that. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. I gave up on, I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. And now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Ah, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that amber, okay? I will. What about this? Don't overwork yourself, okay? The journey is as important as your end goal. Cliche, but true. Nice. That... Yeah, that was weird. Anyway, to the library, I think? How the heck do we get there? I honestly don't know. Wait. Oh. Um... Okay. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Just, uh, distracted on things. Wondering where we're going, honestly. Uh... Goodness gracious, goodness gracious. <clears throat> Alright, uh, so is this the way? This should be the way. I 
I don't like how the music got a bit more somber. What does this mean? I'm I'm clicking X. Uh weird. What's that room about? Okay, well, uh, <laughs> we found out that robot lady, though. That was pretty interesting. Looks like I can unlock this door. Sick. All right, so we're back where we started. Or, well, rather, yeah, we went up. So, yeah, it's time to go down on the next episode. Make sure to stay tuned, because it is going to be cool. I'm mind-logged, and I'm logging off.